What you doing? <laughs> you excited? <laughs> you excited, crazy? Crazy boy? Crazy? Crazy? What's up, Shadow? What you doing, girl? They got you all chained up because you like to hop the fence, huh? Not you, though, King. You a good boy. You a good boy. What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Taj Markel, and I'm back with another Bleezy. Hoping to make your day and your spring a little bit more easy. Feeling real good today, y'all. Feeling um, a little more positive than I was yesterday. Long story, if you um, watch my little 10-minute Taj talk, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but we ain't gonna get into that too much, you feel me? I am currently on a walk. The walk that I took my first, that I did my first vlog on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's crazy. It's been a year and some change, you know what I'm saying, that I've been doing this and uh, it's just crazy how much has changed, you know? Uh, still going strong still making new goals for this but some ha many have definitely been accomplished already you know uh, so walking to the this sorry walking to the dispensary my first vlog is called like denver's dispensary dyers diaries why can't i say these words right now uh denver dispensary diaries so I figured I was gonna drive, but I need to be walking a lot more anyway, going somewhere that's walking distance. I didn't have a car, fun fact, when I first started vlogging. I had access to cars always, but didn't have a car, so I was walking everywhere. Um, you know, everywhere close. It's still cold though, look y'all, I got on shorts, I'm tripping. I'm twipping, but um, still sunny. It's not unbearable. It's just more like when you're in the shade, it's cold, you know what I'm saying? But in the uh, sun, uh, in the sun, it feels good. So, taking a nice little stroll. I walked this way a billion times, y'all. Cause y'all know the old shop back that way and like, I know everybody ain't gonna see this video, so I'm gonna tell y'all a, a real thing. Uh, Cause just between me and you, I don't give a fuck about being honest about my life. I'm not embarrassed by it. It is what it is. It made me who I am. And uh, one point in time, me, my, uh, me, my two brothers, and my mom, we were all living together at the shop. You know. Uh, I won't go into too much of what led up to that, but I'll say it was my mom trying to make a better life for us and not be dependent on the government, depending on government benefits, showing us a different way, showing us how to do it independently and just believing in uh, her hard work and uh, God, you know what I mean? Trusting that God would take care of it and you know, we're still literally working from those days. You know what I mean? She was on Section 8 when we were kids. She had a Section 8 voucher. And all of our places we stayed at, she always had us in a nice house um, in Aurora, Denver. You know what I'm saying? In Atlanta. Uh, and she just didn't want to be dependent on the government. That was always a thing she knew she wanted to eventually get free from and fast forward to you know right when i'm getting out of high school and stuff and you know she she was independent working uh beauty beauty shop barber shop stuff you know what i'm saying and she was like okay i think we can do this but it was during a time that she didn't know was about to happen with a whole bunch of the housing market crisis and stuff you know what i mean so essentially if you didn't have the best credit 
it was hard to even rent a spot during those years. You know what I'm saying? We would literally, for years, go around the neighborhood over here, Park Hill, and surrounding neighborhoods that were close to see. And this is also when gentrification started coming into play and a whole bunch of people started moving here. So, you know, those motherfucking people was not trying to rent to Denver natives and also people who especially didn't have good uh, good credit or, um, you know, whatever else they wanted. But we made the money. It was just that we didn't have the good standings with your credit clubs and all of that. And I get it. Y'all probably like, you're an idiot for not taking advantage of that. But I've never been one for to be in the cliques and the clubs. I'm grateful for all the little... Uh, God damn, this bitch ain't even going to stop. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, fuck, I'm tripping. Uh, my bad, y'all. <clears throat> but, uh, so needless to say... She um, got us off Section 8, you know what I mean, looking for a place. We ended up staying with some family twice, you know what I'm saying? And uh, after we stayed with family, then we went and stayed in a hotel. Like, this was years, y'all. I was, like, looking for places, looking for places, you know, and not being able to find one. But found one. I mean, no, we didn't. We stayed in a hotel for like literally a year and a half, two years. And one day I was just like, let's just stay in the shop. Like it's ours. Um, we're here all the time anyway, like super early, super late. And uh, I wish I was vlogging back then, y'all. Just so I could show y'all that, that it, man, it was just a different time. But uh, so, uh, stayed in the shop for a while and that brings the story full circle so when it get late or whatever we would uh walk to 7-eleven you know what i'm saying it'd be the only spot open uh after a certain hour you know this is back when we used to do clients so late because uh my mom had clients that have sister locks and brother locks and it would take hours and hours so some of them wouldn't want to come back for second appointments like they wanted it done in one day so it would take like 20 damn near 24 hours you know so they'd be there super late and i'd be like yo anybody want something from 7-eleven my mom be like anybody want we must have the amount of money this 7-eleven we've given them over the years is ridiculous and i'm not exaggerating y'all we spent like thirty thousand dollars something something stupid at the hotel and so i know this 7-eleven we've spent damn near close to that over the years and you know one time these people have known us for years one time my mom comes to pump gas and they do this thing now where if you don't pump the gas in two minutes then they shut the pump off you know what i mean and so they told my mom she she doesn't steal my mom doesn't steal she hates stealing like it's one of her like even when it'd be easy you know what i mean that she doesn't fuck with that so i know she didn't steal uh they're like she's i don't even have to go into that but they're like no you the two minutes pass whatever you pumped the gas she's like no i didn't like i really didn't and can you just start it again and they told her no bro and so man after all the years of just being cool uh not stealing from them fucking paying for so much stuff it's just kind of fucked up how people do you but you know it is what it is but yeah so who used to walk this way all the time and back then like i don't know i don't know if it was quite THC hadn't really, I don't think I knew of it yet because I didn't come here for some reason. But I did go to my homie Joey's. He lived right around the corner. What up, Joey? Hope you're watching this. Uh, he used to have that gas, bro. 
he he always worked at a dope dispensary. I forgot where he worked, but I think even now he's in Vegas. That's what he went to Vegas for. Uh, but yeah, I'm at the dispensary now. So see y'all in a second. I walked through the same alley on my first vlog when I went to the dispensary. And I was all scared to show the weed on camera. <laughs> Time flies, bro. That was over a year ago. Y'all, I got two compliments on my Uggs today. It ain't even winter no more, and I'm still getting compliments on these motherfuckers. <laughs> I didn't wear these hoes because I was like, it's still kind of cold, but I really just want that comfortability in my feet. You dig? You dig me? Like, nothing more, nothing less. You feel me? Um, shit like that. I wonder if I had some shades on in that first vlog. Let's let's roll a clip from there. So either I did or I didn't. I haven't seen yet, obviously, because I'm still recording this vlog, and I can't check while I'm recording this one. Even though it seems like, because after the editing process, you guys see and everything, that I actually could um, go back and look at it. I actually can't. <laughs> but it's all right, though. Um, I don't like how people drive um, around here like her, for instance. Just very, um, trying to get where she's trying to go. I get it and everything, but it's just like, uh, I feel like you're creeping up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're creeping up. And you're not Snoop Dogg or Dr. Dre, so it's not like creep with me. As I crawl through the hood, maniac, lunatic, call him Snoop Eastwood, kicking dust. As I bust, fuck these. And the motherfucking punk police. You already know I give a fuck about a cop. So why in the fuck would you think that it would stop? Drop, hell yeah. That's what you's about to do. Take your ass on a mission with the boys in blue. Tosh, what up, Snoop? Yo, I got the feeling. Tonight's the night, like Betty Wright, and I'm chilling. Killing, feeling, no remorse. So, let's go straight to the motherfucking swords. The swords. And see what we can find. Crooked ass cops that be getting niggas a gang of time. I bet y'all, I wish y'all singing it with me. Hey, real nigga. If you sang that with me, give yourself a hand clap in the chat. I mean, in the comments. All these streamers. Got everybody saying chat. Oh, fuck. Do we? Do we, y'all? I got these little bitty ass shorts on trying to keep the weed tucked. And no, 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 no. You know? Let's go the long way. Let's go the long way. It's a nice day. And I want to see a little more. Of what it has to offer me. I thought he was talking to himself. I'm like, you can at least talk to uh, Fido, little Fido, with you. You feel me? Hey, you can at least talk to little Fido, bro. I know motherfuckers be like, is he recording me, dude? I am, dude. Sitting on top of the world, top of the world. I just wanted to smoke a joint today too, y'all. But nobody ever got no good joint papers anymore. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got zigzags. Nobody got raw. Nobody has the one with the O. I don't even know what them shits is called. I even take, if they had them like thin king size, I don't like zigzags though because they taste like you're really smoking a piece of paper. You feel me? So I try and stick with the like more thin stuff. There's like some ultra thin raws. Damn. They trying to kill you, boy. They trying to kill you, boy. They're like, that's not what that's for, sir. Those aren't steps. What is that? 
I think that's some salt, Nick. Uh, I just hope it wasn't no lube. I was like, bruh, I know they wasn't getting freaky in this park after dark looking for sharks in the water. All right, yeah, I'm down with the bullshit. I know that wasn't funny. But where the hell is that? All right, y'all, I decided I'm gonna run the rest of the way. I was just gonna do it, but I'm gonna take y'all with me. Don't laugh at me. If I start breathing extra hard, unless you're laughing in the comments, because that helps the channel. Uh, just run, run, run. And if you're asking yourself, why is he running? Because I'm black and every now and then, or black, and every now and then we have to just start running because we have to start running because if we're too comfortable for too long, somebody who's non-black will see that and they will take it personally and they'll start coming to fuck with you. So. I just save myself the trouble nowadays and start running. Oh, y'all, that wasn't even a long way, and I'm tired. Now, nah, but on the real, I'm running because that's what I want to start doing from every from now on. Walk some of the trip. Run some. Hey, kitty. <laughs> you feel me? I used to cut the guy who lived there. He was an asshole. being so barky why are you being so barky pretty girl huh? you want me some new friends huh? mean some new friends king <laughs> he always on the race come on <sighs> it's too fast it's too fast it's too fast. You wanna go? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. She's like, I ain't got enough room. I know. I'll see you guys later. Guys and girls. But yeah, y'all. It's like a remake of my first vlog ever. It's crazy to say that. My first vlog. I never thought I'd ever say those words. Fuck! It's hot in here. Damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the last thing I'm taking y'all to. Because I showed it on my first vlog, too. Young Daryl. How dare you be taller than me now? I see you. Yeah. Give me a hug. Yeah. I love you, Daryl. I love you so much. And I love you guys and gals. Every single one of you and children who tune in to. I love all of y'all. Oh, More running. You dig? Love y'all. Peace. Bro, 
all these vape companies are using names like El Chapo and uh, Pablo Bar Escobar's. Like, where the fuck is the Italian mob boss one? Don Corleone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, we already got Al Pacino. <laughs> Why the fuck do people use... <laughs> they know. They know the little gangster... The gangster... My bad. <clears throat> they know the little... Uh, gangster people will be buying that shit all day if they use names like El Chapo. The fuck, bro? What's up, y'all? I just thought I saw my brother. My bad. But I'm in the grocery store and I'm currently thinking right now. I'm 33 years old, y'all. I may never ever get to get in a shopping cart again and be pushed around the store. You feel me? So I'm thinking I might want to ask somebody today. You think she'll do it? I think I'm gonna ask somebody if they're gonna put if they'll push me in the grocery store. I'll get back to y'all. Y'all ain't getting me that easily. No siree. What it do, y'all? I am currently at City Park right now. Uh, about to hit the, you know, little boathouse, body of water. I don't know what you call that. Man-made lake, pond, whatever. You feel me? Uh, y'all know the one at the, the, what do you call that shit? The pavilion part, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that gives, reminds me of a story about a fine girl I used to know. Uh, ask me about it. If y'all somebody asked me about it in the comments, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little story on it. But about to hit that real quick. It's a nice walk. It's like a mile to get there from my house, mile and some change. And so I figured today I would do one lap around it and just boost my um my uh my uh, my what do you call it uh endurance uh boost my endurance up uh yesterday i did a short run y'all saw in the video very short run a uh, few blocks uh but today doing a lap around i forgot how much how how what the distance is around it we used to do it in gym class all the time but this is one of the best places if you just want to get your wind back you know what i mean i'm not a distance runner i'm more of a sprinter you know what i mean and i could do some sprints right now but for some reason i feel like jogging you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna do this lap and this shit is no joke y'all but i remember the day uh when i started doing it by myself and i ran it one time and it was so hard bro and i promise you the next time i came I got, I did a whole lap without stopping, bro. And like, I remember having to really push myself, like about to stop, about to stop and be like, no, fuck that. I'm still going to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go, go, go. And from that day forward, running city park wasn't nothing to me, bro, which is crazy because I grew up, my grandpa was a track coach. We always ran track over there at East. You know what I'm saying? He always had us doing some type of cardio, some type of working out. We would come over here to City Park, and then even in high school at East Gym Class, we had to run around there for our mile, uh, and I was never good at it. I always got tired, you know? But to do that in 2019, 2018, uh, on my own, it, it reminds me to this day that I could do whatever I want, whatever I put my mind to. <laughs> Sorry if I look crazy, y'all. I, I showered and shit today, but I also, just cleaned the kitchen right before I came out here, so I probably look a little crazy. But it don't matter when you go on the run, you don't gotta look perfect. You feel me? And it's chilly, but it's it's a nice chilly. Like once I get to running, ooh, I'm not gonna be a pervert and record that. But it's a nice booty. Um uh <laughs> no pervert, no pervertage. Uh I uh damn distractions much <laughs> but yeah uh it's nice enough to where once i get to running it's gonna feel good you know what i mean and i walk home 
it's gonna feel bomb. I gotta stop recording though, cause my phone, I didn't charge it. And I wanna listen to some music while I'm running around. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Yay! Saw where I started at. I'm here now. Walk a little bit. Don't stop. And we're keeping going. We'll make it back to the spot I started at at the front. And then that'll be cool for today. Next time I come, I'll make it two laps. Uh, no bitch. Feel good though. It's beautiful out. Couldn't ask for anything better. All right, y'all. Home stretch. That's the last of it. And what I like to do is really dig. In the last part and sprint. And I get up to the pavilion. He getting it too. He gonna knock whoever he fight now. I respect him, bro. That's hard. Bro, Paddock is cool as fuck, yo. New York dude, living in Denver for a while. Yo, shout out to him, man. That's how you know. Everybody say about uh, New Yorkers is always true. And they say but black and white people ain't always true you feel me i can't wait till i look like that again I shirt my shirt off whenever i still got this belly though <laughs> got it done y'all it's so crazy because you just feel like on the way there like fuck something's gonna happen to where i don't want to do this i'm gonna turn around or i'm gonna stop and it's like, no, you're going to do it because you want to do it. So go do it. And I'm the only motherfucker that walked through the grass when there's hella paths. You know what I'm saying? You know ducks pooping and shit and stuff. But that's how I grew up. In the grass. It's crazy that I even have shoes on. Uh, because, let's, let me just see this, y'all. I don't think I've ever written, wrote, read this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Everybody out here getting it, y'all. We haven't got you a W today. Get you a W, a workout. That what? Hey, yeah, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> y'all see, y'all see, baby, bro. All right, all right, I'll see you in a minute. Right. <laughs> y'all see him. He just as goofy as his big brother. 
He's a little cooler than me, though. He a little cooler than me, bro. Um, he was talking about how good my chicken pot pie was I made for him and his girl and me and my mom. Uh, they messed with it. And then uh, tonight, uh, we're going to do those egg rolls again. I don't think I showed y'all vlog. I don't think I showed y'all that. I made, uh, well, no, nah, technically my mom made them, but they were my idea. Um, but she executed the fuck out of those, bro. She killed that. Those, those were busting. But, yeah, we're going to do that one more time. Because me and my mom, personally, I said me and my mom are getting in shape. And we're cutting out a lot of, uh, cutting out all the processed foods. And uh, the fried food for me. I'm not gonna be doing uh, just pan seared, baked, you know what I'm saying? Foods, whole foods, you know what I mean? Not no, not things that have more than one ingredient, like something you can see the whole ingredient, like a bean, rice, you know what I'm saying? Chicken, uh, vegetables, fruit, you know what I mean? Nothing pre made, pre packaged, because we know what comes along with that. But yeah, man. Uh, Headed back to the store for the second time today. Something told me I should have just um, asked my mom, should I get some more stuff too? But I ain't tripping at all. Headed to the um, Safeway and gonna get a few more things and then come back and cook. Finish a couple more uh, errands and stuff. And the day will be done, y'all. I. Uh, told myself my daily goals today were to uh, clean, make sure the house is clean, make sure uh, I go work out, did both of those, and to shoot one video. I've shot a whole bunch of clips for uh, vlogs, my, my vlog, uh, but I haven't shot any like specific content. That is specific content, but content that's dedicated to like a skit or like a review you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna do that as well and then my goals for the day will be done and that's how i'm gonna try and do it every day is like set a goal set some goals for that day and accomplish those one at a time you know what i'm saying uh, shout out to my boy jake you know we we fuck up a lot together but um he told me the other night that you just be like broadening you're you be trying to look at the way bigger picture too fast instead of doing little things practically every day you know what i'm saying and being content with that and you know i've heard that in a capacity some ways you know before but um the way he put it in the context that he put it in it just made it all the more clear to me this time you know what i'm saying and so i've been trying not to just uh get advice and not do it i've been fucking trying to get it done now nah i don't know what i'm talking about goals get them done taji boy all right Did y'all see that? That was crazy. Alright y'all, this is the first filling of the egg rolls, the beef one. The next one's gonna be the steak one. It's gonna have cabbage in it though, purple cabbage.
I'm holla back and I'm on it. Now holla back if you own it. The CEO of the moment. Bullshit. I don't condone it. Bro, oh, baby, just hop on it. No tea. The chief him. The chief him. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You look feeling. Feel me? Feel me? You look feeling. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Bada bing, bada boom. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? They come out like that, fam. What up, y'all? The gas station getting some gas. It was a uh, crazy cool day, and I'm grateful, man. So grateful, and I'm tired too. Just let you know when you uh, fill your day up, you'll be tired after. You know, it's a good thing. I just wanted to say what's up to y'all. Got the egg rolls done. I don't know if I showed the Belize. I showed Snapchat. Uh, but yeah, they were good. My little brother came and got him some. My mom ate some. And uh, I ate one. I'm not super hungry. I have, I have an orange. You see it in there? Hell no. Oh, yeah, you can. Dirty ass window, but that's the orange right there. Uh, I'm going to eat that. And possibly an apple when I get back home. I'm about to go stop by the homies real quick. And, um, yeah. Cool, cool. Alrighty. So I don't want it to get awkward or anything, so. <laughs> you hang up first. That's <laughs> like, now. Alright, Joe. Can you do the bang one more time? Yeah. Uh, you think she'll do it? Uh, 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 hey. No, you ain't finna be staying here and not doing nothing now. You better take that goddamn trash out or I'm gonna get in that ass. No diddy. Dripping all over me phone, mate. Reach for the sky. Trying to make it big. <clears throat> and tech, they hide behind us. So when we are little and creative like he was, truly, and we have an ability to channel information and word and music and do things, Red they 40. want Color that 40. energy because... That's why oh they're God, in the trash. To touch that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, good luck. She just got single seven months ago, but I doubt she'll talk to you.